Jamie Fernandez is the founder of the La Glisse squad that won the world championship in 2014 with Maverick Vinales. He spent his whole life surrounded by motorcyclists and motorbikes. He started out as a mechanic, then a rider, developing a memorable career. Far from the tracks, he knew he had to continue his life bound to motorcycling. That's why he decided to start up the La Glisse squad. I am Oscar Aro, and this is one day in the La Glisse team. A squad is this sport's seed. There, new motorcycles are tested and the riders are trained. A squad is the place where they brew success. La Glisse is also the first squad to include several women in its ranks. We'll take a walk through the facilities and squad museum, where we'll get to know this victorious team's secret to success. Today we're here with Jaime Fernandez Aviles, for me one of the most important team managers from the MotoGP paddock, and personally one of the best friends I have in the paddock, which is not easy. Jaime, with many years at the World Championship and Spanish Championships, you have more than 18 titles. I think it's 14 National Cups and 4 European Cups, and no more and no less than the Moto3 World Championship with Maverick Vinales. Well, yes, to say the truth. We've done a great job at the Spanish Championship, at the European Championship, and, well, Happy with the titles you mentioned. It's been very hard work to win so many championships, and we keep on fighting to win more. Here we have the crown jewel, right? Tell me a bit about what this Maverick Vinales bike means to you. In a few words, a dream come true. My biggest dream was to become world champion, and I achieved it with this bike. A passion, a museum you've slowly been building up with world championship and legendary bikes. The motorbikes that, as a kid, like in the commercial ad, I'd stare at through the shop window. If one day I could, if one day I could. So now, to relive those days of youth, we've been remaking these bikes and all the racetrack motorbikes that were around when Angel used to ride. And, well, to relive that period's passion and try to buy unique parts to build a museum for all the fans. Jorge Martinez Aspar, right? They made very few of those, but as you know, they had a Rotax motor, and this one has a Honda motor, and this is the unit number three. Barry Sheen's 500. Well, this, this is a slaughter. I had the privilege of starting it up. Do you remember? And I think this is one of, one of your favorites, right? My favorite one, because it's signed by Angel. For 2015, we're aiming to win the World Championship again, which is the most beautiful feeling I've ever felt as a professional and for my ego, for me and my whole team. For this is a family, and I'm an important part of the team. But if I didn't have the people and professional that La Glisse always had, with no doubt we would never have made it to where we are today. They have the same passion as me. La Glisse, from the French word skid, or slip, is the name that Jamie ironically gave his squad. The team's path to success, on the other hand, has never skidded or slipped, and it just keeps steady and moving forward. This race to success began with Jamie's hobby, being a motorbike mechanic. When you started out, I had the pleasure of being one of your mechanics when you used to ride. I remember Jaime, the image I have of Jaime as a rider is, before becoming one, was of you taking up motorbikes in the elevator to the fourth or fifth floor where you lived, where your mother would tell you off. I want to say sorry to all my neighbors <laughs> for what we had going on there. 
I started to take my bike up and then ended up, as I said, taking three or four bikes up and would stand them up like this in the elevator. <laughs> you would fix them up in the kitchen in your bedroom. You hid parts under your bed. The problem wasn't that anymore. In the end, when a bike was faulty, you had to take it downstairs again and you were in the garage and it didn't start up. So then I decided to start them up in the kitchen. <laughs> Imagine that a 12 or 13 year old boy sat down here and told you he dreams of being world champion and that he wants to become a rider. Tell us two things you would say to a kid who sat down with you, like you sat down with Angel del Pozo when you were 14. Like for all of us, it just isn't intuition, right? So if the kid shows me his excitement and that passion we've all had when we were young, because it's a sport in which I think in the end, many of these kids dream to be riders, to become the classic Marquez or the classic Pedrosa. It's great to be a rider and appear on TV, but you have to start from the bottom, as you know. You have to keep at it and work really hard. There are a lot of new help programs, thanks to Dorna, all the new talent cups that are appearing, and a six-year-old kid on a minibike alongside his dad, well, is now already doing laps. So there, when someone arrives with an offer, you've already seen him on the track and know the rider's skills. Not like before, when we're all like, hey, give me a motorbike, I'm really good. I'm very this and very that. Jamie's passion and close monitoring of everything related to his squad is the reason why women's careers are supported here with no prejudice. One of these women is Maria Herrera, who at 18 has already achieved 10 podiums and who will soon be the Laglis squad's new champion. And with Maria, there's a great deal of hope. As she's a woman who's gone very fast, she's the only woman to have won a race at the Spanish Championship. How is a woman seen in such a man's world? When you rise to a higher level, it's like everybody is watching you. She's a girl. And if they see you face to face, they get really surprised. But then after a while, when you're always there, always at front and fighting, then it becomes normal. When they see the ponytail, some get more annoyed than others, but oh well. Do you fear reaching MotoGP? I don't have any fears, but maybe, yes, respect for if I do better or worse on certain tracks. There's always doubts about that. But, well, all riders have made it by working hard. Maria knows how hard it is to succeed in this man's sport, but nothing will stop her on her road to success. She has Jamie's support, experience and advice for this journey. Together, they make up a winning team. Jaime, for me, has been other than my rider. He's been my boss because I've been his sports director for five or six years now. He's a team manager that really helps the riders bring out the best in themselves. So now that you know him too, tell me something about Jaime. It's true that, Jamie. When he talks to you, he transmits a lot of confidence and he's very honest with his words. And that's what most draws my attention because everything he says helps for the better and because he's been a rider. Well, even better so, yeah. To tell the truth, I really like how the team is. Very humane. <laughs> Jamie's tireless work doesn't just consist of keeping the machinery perfectly greased up and maintaining the museum and facilities working. He also closely follows the technical and sports team in every race. His enthusiasm is a necessary catalyst to assure that all team members share success. This is La Glis racing team. Before on the workshop, now on the garage. Does Jaime enjoy it more working in the race department or at the races? I enjoy fighting to win, wherever that is. <laughs> Jamie's family fully understands and supports his motorcycling passion and the great energy he invests spending long seasons away from home just to make sure his squad wins. Bueno, bueno. <laughs> <laughs> Hola, pequeñas. 
It's one of the few squads in the World Championship to double up on his work at the Spanish Championship, Sevrespol, where you spend 36 weeks away from home. How do you deal with it? I have two little daughters, and I do miss the little ones. Time flies by. You leave for a race, and when you come back from year to year, you think to yourself, well, time has gone by fast. You understand the passion of your husband, you, you understand everything, but at the end, it's a very hard sometimes to stay alone home, no? Or no? <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> yeah, no, yes. <laughs> It's not easy, especially for the kids. He's not there, so that's hard for them. In my family, they know that it's my passion. My wife puts up with me. For me, you just get used to it, you know? <laughs> she met me this way from the beginning and has always respected me, and we're happy. We've confirmed that behind the La Glee squad's success lies the true machine's motor, a professional with fuel running through his veins and on whose path tire marks spell out the word victory. Bye. <laughs> bye bye.